What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is TDS Darth Wage back at you with another video yet again, and in this video, the title of the video is going to be, Was the Obi-Wan Mind Trick Nerf Too Much? And, uh, in my personal opinion, the answer will be no. Now, I have received some messages from some people saying, I don't understand why people are crying about this, to be honest, a good Obi-Wan player doesn't need that OP mind trick, which is very true. I've very good Obi-Wan player does not need the mind trick in order to get a kill. Now, all this nerf did, once again, was allow people to dodge while in the mind trick. Is that too much of a nerf? No. All it allows characters to do is to properly defend themselves. Primarily Emperor Palpatine and Blaster characters. Now, if Obi-Wan got nerfed too heavy, then I guess me against Grievous should be a no-brainer that Grievous is going to win, correct? Well, I think that would be a yes, but I guess um, this match will not be the case. And I already know what everybody's going to say. The excuse people will come up with is that Grievous is bad. He just does not know how to play, and based on how he is playing, I guess I could agree. If you think that I am going against a trash player then I will go ahead and remake this video and I will be sure to uh, engage in a 2v1 confrontation now I am not responsible for the players that I get put against I can only you know play against the people that it places me against so with that being said I just beat General Grievous with Obi-Wan Kenobi so here we are with Rey, and honestly I think Obi-Wan is still better than Rey for the simple fact of his stamina by itself. And he also has a better ability, a better mind trick than Rey because his actually prevents um, the dark side from spamming uh, powers or abilities on him. And Rey, all it does is is um, tighten the turn radius and reverse their controls, which I think preventing them from using abilities is a way better mind trick than the one Rey has. But if you have a difference in opinion, then to each their own. So let's see just how Rey does versus Darth Maul, and I don't know where Count Dooku went. I guess he. I guess he accidentally walked off the map whenever I hit him with the mind trick. I don't know, but, you know, like I said, I can't help it if I'm who I get placed against. I'm only going against who the game allows me to go against. So let's see about this Darth Maul. Is he any good? Well, meh. I guess uh, not really. So, yeah, because, yeah. He, that's a bad Darth Maul. <clears throat> okay, so here I am. Now, this I will say. The only one right now who really needs some attention is Yoda. Right now, he currently is bugged beyond belief. Alright? Now, at the end of this 1v1, you will see that Yoda currently is experiencing the blocking bug yet again. And also, to let you know that uh, General Grievous's Claw Rush, while Yoda is blocking, will 100% drain his entire stamina meter. And some people were trying to give me the excuse that that was the intended gameplay mechanic for Grievous is to drain everybody's stamina meter. But if you paid attention to my Obi-Wan 1v1 just a second ago, just a minute ago, that Grievous, he claw rushed past me and through me, and it did not take away my entire stamina meter, which tells me that Yoda's... Uh, Grievous's Claw Rush versus Yoda is bugged, or Yoda's block in general has a bug in it, in which it does, and you will see this here in a few minutes. Now, there is also a Palpatine bug that still needs to be fixed, in which uh, whenever you get in his dark aura, sometimes it will prevent you from moving, like as in you will be held in place. 
while trying to uh, move forward or move backwards, um, whatever direction, it don't matter. But anyway, even with the current bug, Yoda is still doing good. Um, people are trying to say that the dark side is overpowered. Here I am with a bugged Yoda versus both Emperor Palpatine and Darth Maul at the same time. And I seem to be faring very well. Emperor Palpatine is now out of the match, and now it is a 1v1 situation between Yoda versus Darth Maul. So let me go down here into the nice little 1v1 area. This is the best 1v1 area on Kamino because there is no places to get knocked off. It um, it is fair for both sides. Now I. I want you to pay attention to whenever I am blocking right here. Alright, watch. Let's see. I got hit a couple times, but hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I think I got I think I went past it, but whatever. Anyway, um you would have to watch very closely and you would see there was a couple times I tried to block and he hit through it anyway. So in retaliation and panic, I was forced to go into a dash attack. But um, you, I'll let you be the judge of that. So now let's go ahead and go on dark side since everybody thinks that the dark side is OP. I just showed you uh, what I could do on light side. If you think I went against trash characters, like I said, I will remake the video and I will make sure to be in a 2v1 engagement all three rounds if I can. So, for now, let's go ahead and see how this goes with Obi-Wan in the match. Once again, I am not responsible for how the people I go against play. So, let's go ahead and see. There we go. Got a free hit. Spin attack. Obi-Wan is staying back. There we go. Got him separated. Now, I will engage Obi-Wan in a 1v1 situation. I've already got two free hits, so let's see what he does. He tried to hit me with a force push. There we go. He got the block, so he's not entirely garbage. He he's, he knows, at least he knows to block. At least he knows how to block. <laughs> Which is an improvement from the last match when I was on light side because it was literally blind aggression. So let's see how this Obi-Wan does. He literally just killed my teammate, so that's got to count for something, correct? Alright. <clears throat> does the mind trick... Um, is it underpowered? No. Does it do what it's intended to do? Yes, it prevents characters from using their force powers. Now, it is up to the player that I'm going against to capitalize on that time that I cannot use my force powers or my abilities. Okay, so he didn't capitalize on the time on the open window that he had to get in and do something because he, he knows how to play defense, but I don't think he knows how to play offense. This is the difference between a good player and a bad player, or even an okay player. See, he has Cere Form 3 Cerisu down, but he doesn't know how to get in. See, me, I'm doing what he should be doing. He should be blocking and preparing for a counterattack, but he's not doing that. So, that is the end result. Okay, now here I am as Darth Vader. Another very decent 1v1 character, or possibly even a 2v1 character. So, let's. And Obi Wan is in this match, so I am going to try to engage with Obi Wan if I can. So, let's go ahead and see what these two people that I'm going against decide to do. Okay, there is Obi Wan. He jumped down, I got the free hit, okay, so he goes for a dodge, Anakin tried to intervene in the 1v1 situation, and so let's go ahead and see, I parried him, okay, that was stupid and very mindless, and now if I had my choke I could have got him right there, but I don't have it currently, and so let's see what he decides to do, he wasted his push, alright, let's see. He uses Mind Trick, there's the open window, but he's not capitalizing. He's not trying to dodge behind me like I just did him. 
he's literally just swinging from the front. So that is his biggest mistake, and yeah, I did everything that he should have done. So is it a trash player? Not necessarily. He's okay. He needs a lot of work on figuring out how to go through people's defense. And now, here we are watching a 1v1 between Boba Fett and Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker should be able to, hand Bo uh, be able to handle Boba Fett hands down. But I guess he currently does not know how to counter Boba. So... I'm pretty sure he is one of those players who tries to say that Boba Fett is overpowered. No, Boba Fett is not overpowered. It's uh, this person that does not know how to use Anakin Skywalker properly. If anything, all he had to do during this 1v1 situation is pull him and then go into a heroic might. There you go, two free hits. Boba Fett would fly away like he's currently doing. And all you got to do is keep blocking and then wait for your abilities to come back. Boba Fett would go for his rocket barrage and all you have to do is jump over it. And you might take a blaster shot, but all you have to do is just block again. And then you just keep on rinse washing and repeating that process until Boba Fett dies. That's literally all Anakin Skywalker has to do and I'm not trying to jump in to um, double team this guy because they didn't double team me at the beginning of this round they tried to double team me but it did not uh, matter because I actually know how to block <laughs> you know okay so what is Anakin doing right here absolutely nothing see these players like this are the kind of people <laughs> who cry about everything. Whenever I say something is overpowered, I have a legit reason behind it. Now, this right here will show you about the Obi-Wan nerf. Here Palpatine is. Now Palpatine will actually be able to properly defend himself versus Obi-Wan Kenobi. See, pre-nerf, before this nerf happened, these kind of Obi-Wan players were used to getting away with murder. And I'll show you the type of murder that they were used to getting away with. Now, I do kill him right here, but I want to show you how sloppy he played right here. See, he got the mind trick and he thought, oh, he can't dodge, so I'll just come in bl blindly and just play like an idiot. That's the kind of stuff that Obi-Wan players were used to getting away with. But now, the Obi-Wan players are going to cry because they actually have to put in an effort to get a kill against Palpatine or any other character for that matter. But anyway, that is my personal opinion. If you like the video, then please give me a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you in my next video.